This is Sam Dodge from M Live, live here from the TCF Center in Detroit. I'm trying to get a little distance from the crowd so you can hear me. But as you can hear, they're protesting to stop the count. The people that are here, it's a mixture of just people protesting, you know, kind of election challengers, whether or not they're self-appointed or not. I was able to talk to an attorney for one of the campaigns interested in the count here today. And they were saying that a lot of these people are self-appointed election challengers. Emphasis on the quotation marks there. So a lot of the complaints here surround a video that uh, came in and it's been going around conservative outlets uh, such as Steven Crowder online of, you know, thousands, tens, hundreds of thousands of votes that allegedly appeared after the 8 p.m. deadline. Now, it's important to note in the state of Michigan, any vote that arrives after 8 p.m. on Tuesday night on Election Day is not able to be counted, even if it's postmarked for before. However, there is no evidence at this time that there were votes that, uh, that missed, were ballots that, or absentee ballots that miraculously showed up after the 8 p.m. deadline. So that's kind of the, there is a belief that there were tens of thousands of votes. However, outside of this video, which it's unclear, you know, the veracity of that video, uh, if uh, these votes arrived afterwards or not. Uh, in addition, the lawyers that I've been able to talk to, they don't want to be named or associated with specific campaigns, they are talking about how they are trying to challenge the vote and make sure that no extra ballots were counted after the, after the 8 p.m. deadline. So basically, uh, the police officers, as you were able to see, they were blocking these poll challengers, and they blocked a lot, a lot of lawyers from entering to uh, offer that challenge. Another thing that's really exacerbating the tension here is that media is able to make their way inside to uh, cover the inside of the event in a, you know, quarantined off area. But uh, they, they are, you know, the fact that election challengers are kind of slow to trickle in, that's uh, been a gripe as well. We have been able to confirm there are GOP, there are independent, and there are Democratic poll challengers and election challengers in there. You have to have a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, what we have been able to say that there are plenty on each side. And in fact, since a lot of the protesting has gone on, there has been acceptance of independent and GOP poll challengers that have been waiting for a while and were some of the initial to show anger for the situation. So this is the scene right outside the absentee ballot processing area. Outside, if you go up those escalators, there's about, I'd say about 100, 200. It's been a while since I've been out there, so it might even be more now. There are uh, people that are similarly protesting, and they're, they're you know, outside, and uh, they, in addition, are not being let in. Some of the attorneys I talked to from the campaigns are saying that it's a fire code issue, but there's also a concern from outside that it's uh, that COVID uh, and social distancing precautions are being used as an excuse. So there's a lot of different misinformation out there. However, these uh, campaign attorneys are, are making it very clear they want to be able to get inside the processing room in order to verify if ballots are being counted, even if they arrive after 8 p.m. last night. That is the main gripe, and that is the same gripe that President Trump has expressed and uh, the Michigan GOP has expressed about, quote-unquote, voting irregularities. However, these are allegations at this point. There still needs to be investigation into the matter.
complicating the matters for a lot of, uh, particularly the Trump-supporting faction, which, quite honestly, is, is a large portion of the people that are here, is that the lead for President Trump uh, just completely vanished over today as absentee ballots started to come in, you know, as the day went along. And to the point where the Associated Press has called a victory for Joe Biden. Uh, the other race that's uh, of uh, great concern is the John James senatorial race. Again, another big lead, having uh, been able to check on uh, the polls in a second there. However, uh, that lead was tightening. At one point, John James was up about 0.1 percent as of the last hour. So a race that has been going back and forth, heavily scrutinized. And so there is a lot of attention being placed on the counting in Oakland and Wayne County. I haven't been able to get in touch with either the city clerk or the Wayne County clerk. Uh, neither one of them, it's not clear if either one of them is actually here at TCF Center at this, this moment. So this is uh, Sam Dodger M Live. I'll be tuning back in with any further developments, but right now, and perfect timing. The chant just died down a little bit. But looks like their announcement's about to happen. Looks like a little salty language was uh, leveled at uh, a Democratic uh, poll challenger who seemed to be trolling some of the some of the protesters here. This is Sam Dodge from M Live. I'll be tuning back in with any further developments. Um, does, for now, lots of chanting, but the count is still happening inside the processing center. And as far as we know, these votes came in in time, and the attorneys uh, for different campaigns are just trying to verify if any ballots being counted arrived after 8 p.m. last night. This is Sam Dodge from M Live.